Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is a video in my declutter series. I have filmed this in 2017 so I know it's not going up before 2018 but this is the intro for every video so if you have seen before that's why I have used the same intro for every video. And a main thing in this declutter series is that I'm not getting rid of a lot but I have accumulated a big bag that I have now given to friends and family and my three cousins really really loved it and my mom and my aunt actually got some too. So I have a bit left and that is the items that is that are too dark for my friends and family. So I just need to find the right person and give it to her but they will not be counted in my makeup inventory that I am going to do after the series. Um, and if you want a makeup collection tour or setup or something, please let me know down below. So yeah, this is my declutter series. I hope you enjoy and please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on all of the videos I have planned out. And yeah, please like, comment and subscribe and then I will see you next time. Bye guys. So this is my blush, bronzer and highlighter collection. Here there is cream and powder and liquids and smaller palettes as you can see here. This is insane. <laughs> um, and this is all in one drawer in my, my Alex 9. And it's getting so crowded and I really really don't know what to do. My strategy is to uh, divide it up to get categories like I have done so far in my declutters. And I will just take it one by one <laughs> from one end to another. And let's see how much I can get rid of. So, this is my bronzer collection. It's actually quite small, but I do have some bronzers in palettes and so. So it's bigger than this, but this is my single bronzer collection. Okay, my Essence Sun Club bronzer is definitely staying. I love this one to pieces. So that is staying. My Hula bronzer is staying, even though it takes ages to go through it. My Honolulu by W7. I'm keeping this one. But in my advent calendars, I have gotten a smaller one and in this one there is like 2 grams and there's 1 gram in this one. So these are smaller samples of this one, which has 6 grams of product and that is a dupe for the Hula by Benefit. And so I'm going to declutter these two smaller ones um, over here. And my neutral look sponsor, even though I have been so frustrated on it, uh, this year I really really like the the contour powder and it is the same with this NYX blush in taupe it is also a contour powder for me I like this one way better than this one I think this looks less muddy on me my W7 bronze fever I'm not really sure if I want to um, keep that one um, because I haven't really used it since I tested it um, it's very shimmery looks okay on the skin. So I like a matte bronzer much more than a shimmer one. So I'm going to pass this along because it is quite nice for a beginner bronzer. I have my The Body Shop Honey Bronzer in light, the lightest shade. I love this bronzer as well. It's very subtle. It's kind of like the Essence one. My Bourjois Bronzing Powder thingy, limited edition packaging. I love this one as well. Staying. And this one is so, so beautiful. It is the W7 Very Vegan Matte Bronzer. So these are all matte and that is what I love. So I'm going to keep them all. I got rid of three bronzers here. I'm pretty excited about that actually. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to get rid of that one, but it's just right. I'm going to do that. So this is my blush collection. So I'm definitely keeping my matte blushes from W7. Again, I love matte stuff. <laughs> These are in the maybe pile. This is beautiful as well. It's kind of like the same 
as uh, Orgasm from Nars and one other blush I can't remember the name of. I hate them so much, but um, this is almost done and I don't want to go, go through it. Uh, I don't like them. Okay, I'm keeping this one to use up next year and then I'm going to declutter this one. Uh, my best friend don't want it because he already got one. <laughs> Uh, maybe one of my cousins or uh, friend or something wants this one. This is beautiful, this Catrice blush. The front boy blush is staying, love this one. And um, yeah, these three is staying as well. So I'm just going to put these aside right here. I'm going to pass this along because this is very neutral and I know some of my cousins will love that. Um, so I'm going to pick with a black one. This is very dark. I'm not going to use it. No, I'm going to pass them all along because I do have blushes in palettes and I have a ton of blush right here. <laughs> so I am getting rid of a lot more than I thought I would. So that's quite good. I have a ton of more highlighter in palettes and stuff like that. So that is so crazy. <laughs> These are my liquid and creams, um, and that is a cream too, um, that is insane. And all of this is W7, except these four. That's, it. That's insane. This is my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder and Highlighting Gold Bar. I just got these from Amanda, uh, okay, maybe... Um, a few months ago, but I haven't really tried them out because I've been panning highlighters with her in a project actually. I'm keeping the W7 Berry Vegan Highlighting Powder, so beautiful. I'm panning the High Beam, the Technic, Get Gorgeous, so beautiful. I'm going to keep my Glow Motion from W7, love this one. Love my Prism 3D Highlighting Powder, that is so beautiful because it's like a, it's, it's like a duochrome pink shift pale highlighter, so beautiful. I'm going to let this one go, don't really like it, it's too dark for me. Um, love this cream highlighter though. It's a bit too dark but I can work with it and I love this in the summertime. I'm going to get rid of this one as well, it's so dark, so that is going. No, I never use this one at all. So I'm keeping the lighter one from the W7 Dynamite highlighting powders. Keeping that one. These two sticks I'm keeping my Strobe and Go W7 Night Light Matte Highlighter and Illuminator. I don't really see why it's an uh, illuminator when it's matte. I didn't really understand this product actually. Because it's very pretty, but I don't get it. So I, did, I I think I will keep it for now and see if I get use of it, uh, otherwise I will declutter it later. W7 Glow Guru Illuminated Face Cream. I'm keeping the pink glow, the bare glow and then I'm getting rid of the peach glow because it's just too dark. And these ones, oh my god, I will never in my life use this. So I'm getting rid of the dark one, um, and then I'm keeping this one for sure, this is the palest one, and then for the, this for the summer. I know I'm talking about the summer a lot, but I love highlighter in the summer, and I love highlighter in general. I got rid of five highlighters! I'm pretty excited about that actually, because um, I have a hard time getting rid of my highlighters, but these these are all too dark for me. I don't have friends that are darker than me, <laughs> but they got they get dark faster than me. No. So the last thing is my smaller face palettes. I have my high my bigger face palettes here, and I'll go through them after this one. I have never used this since I bought it when I lived in Germany like one and a half year ago. So I'm going to get rid of this one. I'm sure my cousins will love this. Um, but I'm keeping the one wild contouring palette, it's so good. And the Hollywood Bones and Glow palette is so good. My Casino Blush Highlight and Contour palette 
from W7 and it's amazing. Such beautiful colors. I mostly use them as blushes. I think this is the contour powder, but it's too red for my taste. And the highlight is beautiful. My Clinique Makeup Palette is mm, highlighting palette is not going anywhere. My Growing Out Kit. I actually don't think I like this. I actually only think I'm going to use this shade, so I don't think I will ever. Gold Glow is more pink. This one here. Rose Glow is very, very beautiful and right up my alley. But Bronze Glow is so golden. Am I going to declutter this? Oh, shit. Goodness. I didn't uh, believe I could do that. Contour, powders, highlighters, blushes, contour, highlighter, bronzer here. Highlighters, cream, bronzer, and highlighters, highlighters. <laughs> Here is all my highlighters in my collection. <laughs> um, I'm not sure I'm going to get rid of any though. Um, I love these. These are so beautiful. These are very, very beautiful. I can use this as a bronzer and on my body. Blush cover. And this is the only cream things I will want in my collection that is like control products. This is a very, very good one. The W7 Stroke, Stroke Time Palette, W7 Lift and Sculpt Palette, my Makeup Revolution Ultra Pro Glow Palette, and I'm keeping this one as well. It is the NYX Highlight and Control Pro Palette. My Benefit Holiday Collection, Manica Dart Duo that I've had this year, and um, yeah, going to keep it up. No regrets, but now it's done. So, sorry. <laughs> I just found this. This is my W7 Very Vegan Brow Eco. 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 It's a brow palette. Um, I have used it. I have kind of loved it. <laughs> um, I will clean it up and then I will give it to my cousins because I didn't really like it. It has a wax, a highlighting powder, and then two brow powders, a tweezer, and an angled brush and um, spoolie. This is all I'm getting rid of. So this is everything I'm getting rid of. I'm pretty excited about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I just fi finished filming this video and then I thought again about one of my friends who really wanted to learn how to contour. I didn't declutter that much that could be used for a contour, so I thought, why not give this to her? Because I have the NYX blush in taupe, and you can buy that one again. Um, and I thought, why not just give it this to her? I'm pretty sure she won't mind that I have a pen on it uh, <laughs> when she realizes how little she needs to use. If she doesn't want it, I will take it back, but if in case she wants it, I'm going to declutter it. So. This is gone now. So, 